Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be trying out a ton of new drugstore products. I have two bins right now. Like this is just one bin. I still have another bin filled with like a full face of makeup. I'm gonna do like a, a little toppy cam right now so that you guys can see what is in front of me right now because I'm kind of overwhelmed. Like, oh, what? Oh my God, Siri, stop. Oh my God, she thinks that I was talking to her. This, you guys, is insanity. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited though. I have the Master Holographic to try out. This one is the Prismatic Hollow. I bet it's not hollow. It looks like it's just iridescent, but this one I have been wearing every day of my life. I love it so much. Um, but yeah, can we see? Look at how much new drugstore stuff we have to try. So I should just get to piling it on my face and three, two, one, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys if you have questions for me because I kinda wanna do this as a little bit of a Q&A and get ready because it's just more fun to do that, you know? Like, why not keep the conversation a little more interesting? I mean, my tweets sometimes, you guys, literally I'm like, I thought I'd ask you if you had questions to ask me. Questions, let's ask questions. I'm asking you a question if you have questions for me. <sighs> Doing a drugstore and get ready for me. You guys got some questions? Tweet. While I wait for some questions to come in, let's prime the face and just get this going. So I have two primers here. I have one that is an illuminating primer and the other that is a mattifying primer. I'm gonna use both kind of like a multi-mask situation. I'm gonna start with this infallible glow lock primer and I'm just gonna take a little bit on my fingertips and pat this on my cheeks where I am more dry and where I wish to glow a little bit more. And then I am going to take the mattifying kind of around my nose and in my T-zone. Tina Marie says, is the backside of your mirror showing your true self? Yes. Okay, so we are gonna dive into foundation. I am going to try out this CYO Matte Foundation. I have already tried a bunch from this range. Some of it worked, some of it was pretty awful, to be honest, but I have heard really good things about this product. All right, I'm just gonna grab the product on the Beauty Blender itself, and we are gonna start blending. Hmm. So one of the questions is, have you found a new Holy Grail product in 2018 yet? And I wanna say that the highlighter from Maybelline Master Chrome, the pink one, is such a favorite of mine. Like I didn't know how much I needed this until I started using this product. It is so pretty. If you have a hard time using lighter highlights because they turn kind of gray on you, that one is so good. The color, the texture, everything about it is really, really nice. Mm, this is blending out beautifully. All right, another question. Someone wants to know about my workout routine and I typically will lift weights three days a week. Sometimes I snap at the gym. Sometimes I just feel like such an idiot. I don't know, I should snap more. I really want to because I love seeing my progress. And so it's kind of nice to actually go back and see, you know, the work that I'm putting in. But yeah, I lift weights three days a week. I try to squeeze in a little bit of cardio. I love to spin. And when I train, I usually either do circuit training or what I'll do is three exercises, take a break, three exercises, take a break, three exercises, take a break, and then switch up the three exercises. I do have a trainer that I work with at Equinox, and honestly, it's been the best investment in myself, like better than any therapy I've ever had. I feel like when I go to the gym, it is completely my time to get in my body, out of my head, and I love it. It has really just changed everything for me. This foundation is so good. It is kind of blowing my mind right now. So now we're gonna move on to a little CoverGirl concealer. They brought out a new one. This is the Vitalist Healthy Concealer and I have the shade Light Pale. It says it's infused with vitamins. Um, I can already kind of tell. <laughs> this is one of those like puffy concealers. No. I'm liking the foundation more than the concealer. This is just not giving me enough coverage and it's kind of sitting on top of the foundation and already looks a little cakey. Dang it. I feel like this is one of those concealers that you use when you're not wearing a lot of makeup. If you just want like a quick little brightening action underneath the eye, but if you want actual coverage coverage, uh, it's not gonna get it done. I'm, I don't wanna screw up my full face, so I am gonna put on a little Estee Lauder. You guys, I'm really getting ready for my day too. Like a lot of people have an issue when I start 
mixing other products in, but I don't want the whole look to just like be crappy just because of one product, you know? I can tell right away that was not enough coverage. It was sitting funny and I didn't like it. Boom. All right, moving on to some powder. Look at this giant package. This is from Flower Cosmetics. You can find this at Walmart. This is Drew Barrymore's line and I have been loving so many of their lip products that now I'm just totally curious about everything else. I've used this line on and off for years. Like I have a really old video that's so embarrassing and cringy um, when the line actually first launched. Oh, it's really bad. I found it. For some reason, you guys, whenever I use this type of a setting powder underneath my eyes, it like makes the darkness pop through. I'm gonna put some Cody Airspun underneath my eyes and I am gonna dust this on the rest of the face. The texture of it feels really nice, but under my eyes, it's just not doing it. This actually will leave color behind, which I like. Gosh, you guys have some seriously intense questions. Someone says, what is your greatest dream for life, no matter how far-fetched it may seem? Well, to be honest, having a successful YouTube channel sounded really far-fetched and when I first started out, a lot of people thought I was crazy. Um, a lot of family members, although supportive, thought, uh, I don't know that this is really gonna work out. And you know, I managed somehow to turn it into a full-time job and I'm so, so happy that I did because I would not wanna be doing anything else. I love making videos. Um, but this was a really far-fetched dream. I have other big dreams, like I feel like this is gonna be a big year for me, but aside from just like business dreams, I think one of the goals that I have is to get back into music a little bit. I really wanna learn guitar. I feel like learning an instrument um, is something you can do at any stage of the game. So with a little bit of reality and dreaming big, I think I wanna get a guitar and uh, play. Okay, so let's, back to makeup, let's go to a little brows. Wet n Wild has brought out this retractable brow pencil and they have a bunch of different shades. I'm gonna start with Ash Brown. Ugh. Ugh. I hate this kind of applicator. Um, we're gonna do it anyway. Someone else wanted to know who my favorite artist is and I kind of am all over the place with music. I'm gonna be seeing Lana Del Rey soon and I'm so, 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 so excited about that. Oh my gosh, I can't even wait. Like I'm counting down the days. Um, but also right now, you guys, you know what I'm so into? Justin Timberlake. I think his new album is gonna be so good. Oh my gosh, like I cannot stop playing this. I can't even stop. I love this. Okay. Love, love that song so much. You guys, that eyebrow pencil kind of blew my mind. I really don't like that shape on an eyebrow pencil, but I think the color, the texture, everything is pretty gosh darn good. All right, uh, let's move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna use this right here from Wet n Wild. This is the Silent Treatment new little setup that they have. <laughs> I can't call it a trio. It's not really a palette. It doesn't look like a quad. It's just making my brain go. <laughs> I don't know why. I am so used to the old school Wet n Wild palettes where they have like the three uh, stripes of eyeshadow, but this is their new setup. And I think this has pretty colors in it to do like a nice little action in the crease and whatnot. And then we're gonna play with some other fun products. If I can ever get this open. <sighs> I'm like about to break a sweat. Okay, uh, I feel like light just poured down from the sky. We got in here and we're about to blend some color into the crease. I'm gonna take an Eblen brush and I'm gonna go in the transition shade, grab some color and just start building out the transition. Someone just asked if I could only bring three items with me if I was like on deserted island, what would I bring? I think sunscreen would be number one. Just kind of not into getting a sunburn. I think I need something for my eyebrows. Like I just feel a hundred times better when I have eyebrows on versus no eyebrows. So sunscreen, an eyebrow pencil, and probably like some kind of gloss or something because I need my lips to be shiny and hydrated. As far as what James would bring, cause someone was like, oh, what would James bring? He'd probably just bring his Sicily toner. 
He's obsessed with it, you guys. Like literally, he cannot function in his life without that toner. It is hilarious. I don't know why I find it hilarious, probably because I'm the one that like started the whole skincare thing. It's my fault, but he needs that toner. He needs it. He'd be on an island toning his face with his $100 bottle of toner. This is really pretty. I like this color. I'm gonna continue on the eyes with a cream product, but I don't want any of this powder to fluff up into it. So I am removing my bake. I'm gonna take a little more of the flower powder and just blot the rest of my face. And actually I'm gonna take a smaller brush. I'm taking a MAC 224. I'm gonna go into the crease color, which is just a dark, dark brown. And I'm just barely gonna kind of go through the crease a little bit lower just to deepen things up ever so slightly. All right, you guys, I am so excited to use this. I have only swatched these, but this is so beautiful. This is the Liquid Fairy Lights and the shade I'm gonna use is Bare Brilliance. And I just think that this is so stunning. This is like drugstore version of the Stila Magnificent Metals, but the glitter in here is almost a little bit chunkier, which is different. And I'm just curious to see how this lays on the lid, how it looks, and we're just gonna go in. Ooh, that applicator is actually really nice. Normally I don't like applying this kind of a product straight from the applicator. Wow. You guys, this is beautiful and it looks even prettier in person. So what I'm gonna do now is put on some mascara, which I have this Almay Long For It. It is a lash extenders mascara. We're gonna see about that. And then we'll get to the rest of the face. This is so pretty. Whoa. Do you guys see that brush? My God. Okay. All right guys, what do we think of this mascara? I'm kind of on the fence. I think Lash Paradise gives me more lashes, but if you're someone that wants more of a clump free, really voluminous look that did do a good job. Like I really like it. It's not bad. Back to the face we go. We are going to contour and I'm going to use this professional contouring palette from Catrice. I'm going to contour with this brush right here. I'm just going to dip into the matte contour shade and lightly contour. All right, I love Catrice. I don't know how I'm feeling about this contour. It's a little bit blotchy on my forehead. Yeah, I don't know that I'm down with this. Their concealer, I love this. Mm. Moving on to highlight, I am super, super curious to try out, not this one, this one. This is the shade 050. It is the Prismatic. All right, we're going in and hoping for the best. Oh, ew. Oh, so much no, no, no. Oh my God, that's disgusting. It looks like I have glitter dandruff on my face. What the hell is this? Are you joking me right now? Um, bye. This one can stay here forever, like front row center, but whatever that was, it just put like flecks of metallic glitter on my face. Like it wasn't even anywhere near as smooth as this one or the original gold. What on earth? That was so strange. Okay, we're gonna hang with Maybelline a little bit more and go into this palette right here. Oh my gosh, is this not like the craziest palette you've ever seen? It's like tricking my eye because it all looks like one pan, but it's not. Like the plastic is so thin in between. Ooh. Okay, so this is a blush and eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna grab a Sonia Kashuk blush brush and oh my God. Oh my God, we're having like subculture, like part two. That, do you see that? What? That is a soft blush, but we're just gonna work with it and see. Oh my gosh, look. I was not even that hard in there. Well, it's really light and pretty and easy to blend. Just be warned, that is a very messy palette and super duper powdery but the color itself is really nice and glowy and fresh and it's actually making that highlighter look a lot better than it did two seconds ago. Benji says, what's the key to making cheap makeup look good? I've seen a big difference between the finished look when I use more high-end stuff. So what's the tea? You know, sometimes you hit a big home run with a product at the drugstore that just works better than the high-end version. Like this to me right here is so good. I keep saying that. Um, this right here from Models Own, the Sculpt and Glow, 
butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, which actually I'm going to put a little on right now. You know, sometimes you find those products that just work even better. And then other times what I have found is the blending will go a long way. If you have patience, you can make anything build and look good. So especially with eyeshadows and certain lipsticks and just products in general, I guess, the more higher end usually is finer milled. They have better ingredients a lot of the time, more expensive ingredients, but you can make the drugstore items work, even if they're patchy, even if they're not the best, so long as you keep blending and building and don't go in hard from the get-go. Kind of learn what products do what for you and just blend your way to success. You guys have so many questions, oh my gosh. Okay, so many people wanna know if I'm gonna get another dog. I really want another dog, but I kinda also feel like Puka does so well on his own, and whenever we have company over and they bring their dogs, they do not get along. He's like super spoiled, and he gets so much attention that I worry that another dog would kinda make him go crazy. So he's like the perfect pet to you guys. He does not jump on furniture, he doesn't chew anything, he doesn't go to the bathroom inside. He's just like the sweetest, cutest little fluff ball, and he's just so well behaved that I feel like if I gamble it and get another dog, it's gonna be like this crazy dog that just wants to destroy my life and be cute and adorable, but destroy my life, you know? And then as far as everybody asking about babies, yes, I do want a child and I will let you guys know when that happens. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, all right, so let's put on a little lip product. I'm gonna go a little darker because we kept the eyes so bright and not heavy with big lashes or anything like that. So I'm gonna go in with this right here from Wet n Wild. This is a new pencil that they have. It is retractable. It's called I Got The Juice. That's actually really pretty. Ooh, and creamy. This color is really beautiful though. So if you guys are into a more creamy lip liner, then you might really, really love this. They have a bunch of beautiful shades. For me, I feel like I need something more like a MAC pencil that just has a little more firmness that can kind of build and really secure my lip look in. Um, as far as securing a lip look, I am gonna use a new shade from Maybelline. This is Ruler and this is their Superstay Matte Ink. I go back and forth of loving and hating these. I just love the colors so much, but they are a little bit sticky. So this is not the kind of product that you wanna be going, mm, and making like that facial expression. Otherwise you're gonna be like, mm, I'm stuck. Um, so if you don't mind that they're sticky, then these are great. They don't dry your lips out and the colors are so pretty. This is such a stunning color. I really, really love it. I wanna show you guys the other two shades that I picked up that are new shades as well. We have Poet and then Seductress. This one's really pretty too, but I can already feel it being kind of sticky, which, ugh. Okay, we're almost done. I feel like this has been such a long video, but I had a lot to try. So I am going to pop this in the waterline just because it's like staring me down and I wanna see what this looks like on. This is new from Maybelline also. This is the Lasting Drama Light Liner. It's kind of like this really pretty lilac shade. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in and then we're about done. The sun just like came out so hardcore. Oh my God. Working with natural light sometimes, it's just like, it's bright, it's dark, it's bright, it's dark. Uh, I really like that. That actually went on so smooth and gave just like a touch of color to my look. Ooh, this lip is just so nice. All right, so the last step is a little mattifying setting spray. This is new from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Finny Matte. And I have loved the original Photo Focus setting spray. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore. So we're just gonna go ahead and see how this goes. Wow, okay, that one stinks of alcohol too. But hopefully it will make my makeup look incredible and fresh and stay oil-free all day long. I do have to say I'm thoroughly impressed with this foundation. I will keep you updated on how it wears. The only thing I didn't like is how it squirts out so much product, so be careful about that if you pick up this item from Walgreens. But everything else, for the most part, was pretty great. Let's like regroup. Yes, so much yes. Yes, beautiful shade. Gorgeous in the waterline. Surprisingly fantastic brow product. Really affordable, excellent, easy to blend new formula from Wet n Wild for eyeshadow. Ew, gross, no. Um, ew, no, blotchy contour. Kinda love it. 
kind of curious how the eyeshadow works, but this is super powdery. Be careful when you dip your brush in this palette from Maybelline. The primer, I'm going to have to see how it works with other foundations as well, but I do feel like my skin is super even. It's mattified, it is covered, but it doesn't look cakey. It's not settling in lines. So this CYO matte foundation is impressing me so much right now. I think for more natural loving girls, you guys will like a more clump free situation. For me, I like a little more something on my lashes, but this wasn't bad. And it's a pretty great new uh, mascara from the drugstore. The flower powder, I really like how beautiful this package is. And I actually like how the powder sat on my whole face. I will not be using it to set my under eye kind of exaggerated darkness. So I don't like it for that. Too creamy of a lip liner for me and no. CoverGirl, this just was not my favorite concealer. I have so many others that work so much better. So this is a pass for me. So we're a little bit, not 50-50, like most of it worked out, but there are a few items that right away I was just like, no, I'm not using that again. So there we have it. I hope you guys enjoyed me trying on all this new makeup. Let me know if you wanna see more videos like this where maybe I continue doing Q and A's or maybe I do it, you know, Q and A with Sephora try-ons. Just let me know what you wanna see. I love hearing your feedback. So leave me those comments. And if you did enjoy this, please hit the like button. That lets me know that you liked it. All right, I hope you're having a good one. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Lost.